not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system, announcing the commencement of the annual purge, sanctioned by the U.S. government. Weapons of Class 4 and lower have been authorized for use during the purge. All other weapons are restricted. Government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be harmed. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. Hey YouTube, welcome to DMG Gaming and Adventures. I'm your host, David Garcia, and that siren means we are bringing you a non-spoiler review of The First Purge. Well, what can I say? The main theme behind this movie is the same as the ones that came before. All crime is legal for 12 hours, including murder, and it's up to our main stars to survive the night of The Purge. The twist of this addition to the franchise is that it is a prequel to all the previously released Purge films and that it is basically an origin story on how the Purge came to existence. The movie cast consists of an ensemble of no-name actors which is standard in these Purge movies. The only exception to that in this film is the casting of Marissa Tomei who's had a pretty accomplished Hollywood career and Luna Laura Velez who had a popular run as Lieutenant Maria Laguerta in the hit TV show Dexter. Other than that, no other actor in this movie has done anything of any major significance in their careers, and their casting in this movie didn't really do anything to improve their stock in Hollywood. As for the aforementioned Tomei, she plays the psychologist who basically designs the social experiment that has come to be known as The Purge. Her performance was alright, but it will be nothing more than a footnote in her storied acting career. Now, on to the movie itself. While I've never been a big fan of the Purge franchise, I have to say that I was pleasantly and surprisingly entertained throughout. The pace of the film is a fast one, and although it is a two-hour entry, it never felt as if it overstayed its welcome. While it is considered to be in the horror thriller genre, the movie does use a lot of action movie elements, and that helps in keeping its quick tempo throughout. One thing the movie used in creating its conflict is using the current climate and very real climate of the United States political situation. In this film, that situation causes the creation of a third political party which we've all come to know in this franchise as the NFFA, or better known as the New Founding Fathers of America. Because this film uses real life current events, Depending on which side of the political fence you stand on, you may have a different feeling about this movie. Now, this isn't a political video and I personally don't care which side you believe in, but it is important to know this going in so you can be prepared for the politically charged tone that this film does present. One thing to note about this movie, as expected there is a lot of killing, but to my surprise, there really isn't much in the way of graphic or intense violence. Considering the genre and the fact that the movie revolves around violence and murder, I felt as if the killings and violence were actually rather tame, all things considered. The First Purge is neither a masterpiece or an amazing work of art. At the same time, it isn't a complete disaster or a train wreck. It's simply a film that for all intents and purposes is just there. It's an enjoyable watch and it is an intriguing premise, but you probably won't give it a second thought the next day as it contains nothing memorable or anything of any importance. Although, the one interesting development with the franchise actually comes in the form of a mid-end credits scene, so make sure you stick around for that one. Overall, it will make for an enjoyable afternoon or evening out. But, make sure you leave your little ones at home, as this definitely qualifies as an adult-only engagement. 
the first purge gets three founding fathers out of five. That's all the time we have today. Thank you for viewing this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment below. Tell me what you thought of the first purge. And as always, whether you're a nerd, a geek, weird, or a freak, embrace your uniqueness because no one has ever stood out by trying to fit in. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.